Hey guys, this is Baby Power coming to you with another one of my amazing multi box gold farms. Show you how easy it is to make lots of gold with less effort and without a group. Keep watching to see how it's done. All right, guys, so for this farm, we're located out here in the Twilight Highlands, and we're located right here, kind of at this little runoff here of this river, right beside Firebeard's Patrol and right up from Dragon Ball Port and High Bank. Which High Bank's, uh, if you're Alliance, that's where you come in at once you take the portal. Um, and you can just fly up to this little area. Now, as far as your setup goes, you want to have everything set up sort of like this. Uh, I have one potato set up on these little three rocks here, right on that little small one right there where Star is. And then you want to have one down here, almost to where this corner is, uh, right where I have Square. And then you want to have one set up over here where I have Triangle, almost in this corner over here. And then you want to have your last one posted up right here, kind of where this falling down tree is, right where I have diamond. And then your main, you want to kind of have towards this area where this mound is, going from about where skull is to X to moon. So you'll, for your route, you just spam your macro, kill these mobs here. You know, uh, most times you can even go into flight form right there to go in between both locations. Kill these mobs over here, go towards X, most times, yeah, you don't even have to go all the way up to X. Cut across here, kill these two mobs. Unfortunately, you see, I got that hunter out here killing stuff, so... Uh, but you would kill the, those two mobs right there. Come over here, kill all the way up to Skull. Sometimes you can't go into flight form, but sometimes you can, and I'm not using Beer Tartar now. It's already ran out, but uh, it would be more efficient. I would be able to get over here faster. But as you see, these mobs just keep respawning. You just go back and forth, back and forth. Uh, and because, you know, your potatoes over there killing, uh, you get all these. Now, w before you even start this farm, you need to use one of these, the Potion of Treasure Finding. Um, it costs 649 gold on my realm right now, it's saying, and it has a region market value of about 876 gold. Now, it might sound kind of pricey, but this potion lasts for an hour. And every time you loot these mobs, it gives you this these tiny little tre treasure chests. And what comes out of those is more volatile water, which volatile water is what we're farming for here. And you get volatile fire, volatile earth, volatile uh, life, volatile air, basically all the volatiles. You get pyrite ore, you get elementium ore, and you get ember silk. Uh, so with all that, I mean, it's, it's well worth using the potion. Now, I don't use the potion on the potatoes. I only use it on my main tomb since... You know, they're looting most of the patches. And since your potatoes are only looting that little area that they're in with their looter ranks, I, I don't bother putting the potion on them. But I do use it on my main. Uh, I mean, as you see there, that Ember Silk stack is worth 564 gold. We've got two full stacks and almost another stack. I mean, just the Ember Silk alone is valued at, is selling for more than what one of those potions costs. But, you know, then, you know, the pirate ore is way over that, you know. So it's it's definitely worth getting one of those potions before you do this farm. Now, uh, for the macro you use for this farm, it's going to be this one right here. Uh, slash target MUD because they're muddied water elementals. And then it's slash cast moonfire or sunfire. It doesn't matter which one you use for this farm. And then slash use tiny tre treasure chests. That way, when you're killing, you're ar already automatically opening those treasure chest and you don't have to worry about them filling up your bags and everything else uh so yeah that's i mean that's basically the farm uh you just you know come out here crank some tunes you know do your rounds for two minutes that's what i did was two minutes and then i would start my looting phase uh i would go from you know my starting phase i loot everything around here and then i would go to each one of my potato zones and, and loot all their stuff and then drop off and start over again uh it's it's a really nice farm uh, these volatiles, they sell really fast. Actually, I, you know, the primals and stuff that I did, if you look up at the top of the screen, you can check out some of those videos. They sell really fast too, but I cannot ever hold on to these volatiles. These volatiles sell so much faster than the primals even do. I mean, I've been out here doing this farm for two to three hours sometimes and will sell this stuff within like a couple of days and, and, and have to come back out here normally. Uh, I can I, I can never farm enough of these volatile waters to actually hold on to them. 
But let's go ahead and cut the clip. We'll hit a dollar on it and see what we got for the hour. See you there. All right, guys. So now that we're back here in Dollaron, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Uh, now, first off, the Volatile Waters. We got 1,318 Volatile Waters, which is amazing. You know, that's a, that's a lot of Volatile water, Waters for one hour farm. We also got 48 Volatile Fire, 36 Volatile Earth. Uh, we got 31 Volatile Air, 16 Volatile Life. We got 609 Ember Silk, and we got 53 Pirate Ores and 39 Elementian Ore. Uh, as far as Mog goes, really with Cataclysm stuff, it's, it's really not worth mentioning any of these greens. We did get some blues, which really still don't have much of a high value, but they might sell just because they're blue, maybe. Uh, we got this dagger here. We got this uh, mace here, and then we got a ring here. And we got did get one BOE epic, and as you see, that doesn't even have that high of value. But I figure it's worth you know you know trying to sell, see if it see if it goes. It does have over a 0 0.01 sell rate, uh, so it might sell. But let's go ahead and uh, use our macro and see what we got for the hour. So we'll go ahead and pull our chat box up over here so you can see it. And I'll hit the macro, and it says we got 187,312 gold. Now. With that, keep in mind these volatile waters, most of that's going to be the volatile water. Like I mentioned, they sell a lot faster than all these old mats. I mean, I, I, like I've said, I've been out there for, you know, two to three hours at a time just stocking up on these volatile waters and go back, sell them, you know, all of them pretty much within a day or two. Uh, so, so if you really need to make some quick gold, uh, yeah, it might not be as high as some of the other farms. Uh, but still, 187,000 is a lot of gold, and like I said, you sell it super, super fast. Now, those primal, uh, uh, primal farms, they they sell really fast too, but nothing like these volatiles. I I cannot hold on to these volatiles, and even taking into account that value is actually pretty low because as you see, the volatiles on my realm right now are only selling for 25 gold a piece, and the market value is only 42 gold, and that's what the uh, the macro there is using is that 42 gold. Now, the uh, region market value is 65 gold. Now, I've actually sold these volatiles upwards of about almost 100 gold a piece, uh, one you know before in the past. So, so keep that in mind. They they do you know fluctuate pretty uh pretty fast. You know, so that they can be really high one day, go, drop down really low the next day. It just depends on who's farming it and, and whatever. But if you really want to make some quick gold, uh, I would suggest this farm. This is really one to really get there and start making that gold really fast. Uh, so you can go out and do some of the other farms that I've mentioned. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's about all I have for this one. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up now. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video on the Volta Water. And if you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And hit the subscribe button so you make sure you don't miss another one of these amazing multi-box gold farms I have coming out. Now, uh, also leave me a comment down below uh, and tell me what you might have liked about the farm or what you didn't like about the farm. And if there's a farm you'd like for me to try multi-box and put a video up, uh, go ahead and put that down there. I'll try it out, see if it works. If it works, I'll try to post a video. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's all I have. This is Baby Powder. Peace, I'm out!